Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Summerlin Mini 1800BH. If you're looking for a nice little bunk model, something that's lightweight, this is certainly one you want to take a look at. We'll start off right here in the kitchen. So one of the things you'll notice is you get all this prep space right here, which is awesome. And the way they accomplish that is by giving you a single bowl sink and then the double burner, which has your vertical alignment here. Uh, but be, you know the trade-off there again, even though the appliances aren't as big, is all the extra prep surface. You also have the high-rise faucet here, so it makes it a little bit easier to wash and rinse dishes in there. You have your window here, of course, to let in natural light during the day. And then you have an LED light, that way it's, your kitchen is nice and bright at night. Need to plug anything in, you have an electrical outlet right there. Again, you know, they realize that this is your open prep space, so a perfect spot for your coffee maker, toaster, whatever else you want to plug in there. When we look up top, look at that. This is actually great storage, especially in a smaller unit like this. I like the fact it doesn't have a style in between, so again, it's just all open. If you want to put your own, um, you know, type of management system in there, some shelving or something like that, you can do that as well. Microwave right over to this side, directly underneath that is your hood with a light and fan. And if we drop all the way down underneath, you will see your Norcold three cubic foot fridge freezer there. This little compartment here drops down for your freezer. And then right up top here, you'll see the controls for the unit. This one does run off both propane and electric. Right over here is your radio. So if you want to listen to some music, you can do that. This is Bluetooth capable and it controls the speakers in here as well as the ones outside. Underneath that is your direct vent furnace. Folks, this is a short uh, travel trailer. That's all you need. Trust me, it'll keep this camper nice and warm. And then for any functional kitchen, you have to have at least one drawer. This unit actually comes with two, which is great. That way you can have silverware in, your, in one and all your larger utensils like your spatulas, knives, things like that in the other. If we take a look right over here, you definitely have a couple options. They left this open. I myself would probably put a tension rod in there and use it to hang kids clothes, but obviously you can do whatever you would like with it. And then you have some cubby holes right there underneath. When we take a look at the rear bath, you see the foot flush lever toilet with plenty of leg room. Next to that, you have your sink top. You'll see there's storage underneath that too. Electrical outlet there on the wall in case you need to plug anything in. And then up above that is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You'll also see on the ceiling, you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape, LED light, so you have some light at night. And over to the side is your tub shower. Notice how the curtain is on a curved rail, which is great, gives you more space. You also have a hand wand there to make showering a little easier. Right over here on the off door side are your two bunks. Great thing about this folks, 300 pound weight capacity. So even if you have adults that need to sleep in these, they can certainly handle that. You have LED lights in both the top and bottom, and the bottom bunk has a window there as well. We make our way back forward a little bit here. You'll notice the dinette right over to the side. This, of course, is the main seating area in this camper. I like that it's a larger dinette. A lot of times it's really small in this style floor plan. You can only fit two people, you know, one on each side. That's not the case here. You can comfortably set four people here and you have an electrical outlet. So that way, if you need to plug in a laptop, tablet, anything else, maybe it's just a phone, you can do that right there. Plus this drops down into a bed. Now it is a little small for an adult. They'll probably have to curl up, but it's great for a child. Or if you have a pack and play, this is a great spot to put it up here too. That way it's not taking up all your floor space and the child is up and out of the way. You'll also notice a window there to let in some natural light during the day. And up top, you have more storage. So probably a great spot to put some of your plates, cups, things like that. LED light here, of course. On the opposite wall, you will notice you have a backer in the wall for a TV. The connections are right up top. And then right down here is your tank monitoring panel. The control for your water pump and heater are there. Thermostat directly underneath. That thermostat will control your direct heat. The AC unit has its own control on the AC unit itself. It is a sidewall mounted AC unit, which is nice for lighter weight units because it helps keep down the overall height. Because generally you'll be towing this with a smaller vehicle, the less wind resistance from that added height, the better. Then if we look right up front here, this of course is the queen bed. This is where you'll be spending your nights. You have the window at the uh, one end there to let in some natural light, of course. You have a shelf going all the way across the top. Folks, I would definitely utilize this. One of the things you'll find in small campers is you want to utilize all the space possible. And that right there is definitely one you'll want to do that with. 
Right over here is your main wardrobe. So if you're looking to hang some clothes, that'll be the place you want to do it. Directly underneath, you see you have your nightstand with an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports. Not only can you charge your electronics like your cell phone, but you can also plug in a CPAP machine if you have to. And then lastly, I talked about utilizing storage. Take a look at that, folks. Underneath the bed here, you have a really large storage area. Is this any other clothes or dirty clothes, things like that, I'd probably store them right under there. Let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Springdale Mini 1800BH. Right up front here is your 20 pound propane tank. Directly behind that, you'll see the rails there for your battery. We currently have the battery box there. And up, uh, coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Coming around to the side, we open up the pass-through storage. Take a look at that, folks. That's great storage on such a small camper. I love that they have the big pass-through there. And the same size door on both sides, so it allows you to get out anything from the other side that you put in on this side. You take a look right here, you'll notice this one does come equipped with an awning. It's a manual awning, but it's the turnstile, so it's super easy. Honestly, you can probably open this just as fast, if not faster, than a lot of the power awnings out there. So definitely a great awning system on the camper. You have one step to get in, a foldable step, but folks, that's all you need. Again, this is a low profile RV because they're expecting you to tow it by a smaller vehicle. Right outside here is an electrical outlet. If you need to plug in any cell phones, maybe set up a table, hook up an electric griddle, maybe you're gonna make a margarita bar, you wanna put a blender out here, you can do that too. If you do, please invite me. Uh, right down here, if you take a look at the center axle, you see this one does have easy lube axles. All you have to do is pop this little cap off right there. There's actually a greaser in there, so you can pump grease into it rather than having to constantly uh, repack the bearings. There is still a process, but it does make life a little bit easier. If you take a look underneath the awning there, you will also notice you have two outside speakers. Those are again controlled by that multimedia center inside, but as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Coming around to the back side here, you have your cable inlet right there. Spare tire mounted to the bumper. So this is great because if you ever have to get at the spare tire, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, folks, there's really no easier spot to get it than right here. You don't have to crawl underneath the camper, get down on your knees, get all dirty. It's super simple to access. Also, you'll notice the bumper itself there does have the, uh, the end caps on it. So you can pop those end caps off and you're able to store your sewer hose right in the back bumper. So it's not rolling around with everything up front in the pass through. So you make your way around to the back. You can look right underneath here. You will see the termination. Both the bl uh, black and gray tank valves are there as well. Right up top here, you have your city water inlet. Right next door is your fresh water inlet to fill your tanks if you're doing some boondocking. And then lastly, right here is your power cord. It is a 30 amp cord that just houses itself inside the RV. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Springdale Mini 1800 BH. If you're interested in this short travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.